our duty to be the protectors of counties and their governments as stipulated under the Constitution. I think it is Article 96. Honorable Speaker, let me borrow the words of uh, the minority whip that in fact this Senate must at every single opportunity stand up to protect devolution and devolved units and that every step that has been made in advancing the cause of devolution must be protected and that no single step back must be allowed. Honorable Speaker, I stand to support the report that has come from the committee that is ably chaired by Senator Roper because Honorable Chair, what the National Assembly has tried to do uh, in the amendments to this particular bill is to reduce a total of 45 billion shillings from the additional allocation to county governments. Honorable uh, senators who have spoken before me have spoken about uh, the reduction in RMLF of 10.5 billion shillings. But Honorable Speaker, if you look at uh, the totality of the reductions, there are some things that I am sure even members of the National Assembly themselves would not be able to justify. For instance, Honorable Speaker, they have cut uh, uh, 7.4, is it million or billion? Million from court fines. Honorable Speaker, you know some of our county governments actually run uh, city courts to enforce uh, local authority laws. Uh, and uh, this money is collected from the residents of those areas. Like here in Nairobi, we have our own city court. And Honorable Speaker, there can be no justification for why that money should be uh, retained at the national uh, level. Honorable Speaker, the second one that has caught my eye is a reduction of 1.1 billion Kenya shillings on mineral royalties. I mean, this is something that is in the law that counties are entitled to a percentage, and it's a very small percentage of the uh, mineral wealth that is uh, uh, exploited in the areas. And therefore, this is something that we cannot support as a house. And the most uh, interesting one, Honorable Speaker, the reduction of the allocation to county health promoters from 3.2 billion Kenya shillings to 2.5 billion shillings. Honorable Speaker, this is something, a program that was launched uh, with much fanfare here at uh, Uru Park by none other than the president himself. And how will he explain, Honorable Speaker, because as the committee rightfully notes, this 4.5 billion shillings, no, the, the 3.2 uh, billion shillings or the reduced to 2.5 billion shillings is only enough for 86,133 community health promoters, Honorable uh, Speaker. And we have a total of 107,831 of these community health promoters. What that tells you is that 22,000 community health promoters would have no pay for the next financial year. And this is something that we cannot countenance, Honorable Speaker. This is a step that we had already taken. Uh, and there are uh, uh, very serious players in the attainment of universal health care. And Honorable Speaker, this is something we cannot support. On behalf of the CHVs of Nairobi, I will vote to oppose any reduction in the monies that was allocated for CHVs. Honorable Speaker, the RMLF reduction uh, of 10.5 billion Kenya shillings is, as the committee rightfully notes, a contravention of the Constitution. Because if under Schedule 4, a role is defined to be a county role, then it follows the constitutional principle requires that that role be financed. For you to remove the entire RMLF allocation for county roads under Schedule 4 is a contravention of the Constitution. Honorable Speaker, in the 2023-2024 financial year, the industrial parks, ha, counties had been allocated 4.5 billion shillings for industrial parks. And of course, they were launched with much fanfare. I remember Honorable Speaker receiving uh, a phone call from my mother in the village there that right across from her house, the president was there launching an industrial park and that she was going to have, in her own words, a place to sell her milk and a place to sell her chicken. Honorable Speaker, for all the counties that were supposed to benefit from these industrial parks, they only received a total of 1.12 billion Kenya shillings, even despite the allocation of 4.5 billion. So counties that were expecting 250 million for industrial parks only received 62 million Kenya shillings. And Honorable Speaker, if you had allowed me, I have a photo on my phone that my mother sent me this afternoon of that site where the president lodged with much fanfare across from her house 
and Honorable Speaker, everything has stalled, and there is no hope for however getting a market for a chicken or, or even, even the, the, the milk. Honorable Speaker, protect me from the majority leader. <laughs> I'm surprised that uh, the Senator Fonandi wants to insert himself in the communications between myself and my mother. And uh, <laughs> Honorable Speaker, therefore, we as a House must in totality take the position that uh, there is absolutely no justification for these things. And uh, as I said, even during the debate on the division of revenue, the practice has always been that any shortfall in revenue must be borne by the national government. These programs are critical. If you are going to tell 22,000 CHPs that they are no longer going to earn the 5,000 shillings that they are supposed to earn, Honorable Speaker, it is going to be something of a mountain, akin to a mountain to climb. Because how do you select the ones to earn and the ones not to earn? The ones to be cut from the program and the ones to be retained. Therefore, I want to agree totally with the proposal that has come from the Committee on Budget and Finance that we must reject in total any attempts to reduce the basket of devolution as, been, as has been proposed by the National Assembly. I thank you, Honorable Speaker.